Greetings all. So the Devious Monkey here. It is a little bit after 7 o'clock on Wednesday night. I've had a fun-filled day. I got up and had my oatmeal and blueberries, and then I sat around doing day job shit for quite a while until I had to go meet a friend for lunch. So my friend Nubia is going to be watching our cat whilst we're on the road next week. So I thought that it would be, well, first of all, we haven't seen each other in a while, so we got together and had lunch and caught up on life, and then we talked, you know, about what is going to happen when we're gone and when she's coming over and so on and so forth. So that was fun. And then on my way home, like right before I left where we were having lunch, uh, my queen texted me and asked me to get her bagels and cream cheese. So I actually went to the grocery store and got uh, a number of impulse buys. And then on the way home from that, I actually stopped and got us ramen. Well, I got her ramen and I got myself a poke bowl and had dinner. So lots going on today. In the meantime, I have filmed throughout the day and as usual thought it all sucked. So I just formatted the card and I'm sitting here doing this again. Uh, I haven't posted consistently in a while. And again, that bugs me, but I have been really busy and it's should come as no surprise since I said this is the way it was going to be, at least for the next couple of months. Right now, my ear is plugged, so everything sounds weird. So I, I'm going to be making weird faces and, and having a difficult time doing this because it sounds like I have an earphone in on this ear so I can hear myself. You know how that is? It's annoying. In the meantime, today, also what I was doing whilst I was in between doing day job stuff and, you know, getting ready to go to lunch, I started to go through I don't consider it a magical drawer, but it might as well be because it's got a ton of shit in it. Mostly it's got old hard drives, tons of old hard drives. So I pulled out a bunch of them and I had the, the little like portable sized drives. Some of them are SSD, some of them aren't. They're actual hard drives, not solid state drives. So I had three of them in particular. I had a one terabyte, a two terabyte, and a four terabyte. And I decided that I wanted to have one external drive for this MacBook Pro when I go on the road so that I have everything that I need in there. That would be all of, of the movies, cartoons, anime, all that kind of shit that I have ripped and saved on various drives. So I wanted all those on there. I wanted other assets for videos that I make. So there's sound effects, there's a bunch of music, shit like that. So I was like, all right, this is all on all these different drives. I need to get this onto just one drive. So naturally I picked the four terabyte drive so that I could maximize what's on there and then put shit on there as I needed it. Problem was is that I couldn't save anything to it. Every time I dragged something to it, I got the, nope, can't do it. Don't know why. It was bugging the shit out of me. So after a half an hour, I took the stuff that was on that drive, moved it to another drive. Then I reformatted that drive to work with the Mac and plugged it in and made sure that I could then put stuff on it. And then I had to start transferring stuff back. And then I went to the iMac and I transferred all those movies, shows and all that shit. But there was a lot of it. So it said it was going to take seven hours. And I was like, okay, I'll just start it now. I'll leave it be. I'll be gone for a while. And, you know, by the time I came back tonight, it was all done. So I put a couple more things on there, deleted a couple of things, moved shit around and I'm all set now. So now I have a four terabyte external drive that I can just throw in a bag. And if I need to, I can plug it into this MacBook Pro and I can watch movies, cartoons, you know, TV shows and all that kind of stuff that I like watching. So yeah, got that going on. Now, the other thing that now that leads me into is solid state drives. So I have several of these as well. I have that hub that I was using with the iPad when I was gonna try to do all the video editing and stuff on the road. And I got that one, a Casus hub and it has a solid state chip in it. Uh, I, think I, I think I put a one terabyte chip because that was all I could afford at the time. And I had that. Then I ended up getting this Thunderbolt enclosure for Christmas in addition to another terabyte chip. So I put this together and this thing is freaking, you know, it's Thunderbolt, it's wicked fast. And before I got that for Christmas, I bought one of these Samsung T7 drives and I have that. I also have a T5, but that's old shit, so I, why would I use that? So that leads me to my question. What do you guys do? Like, I, every time I buy a new laptop, I always buy one of these, like, external drives. And then you can even see it. It's got the Velcro thing on the back. And I would Velcro it to the laptop. So instead of taking up 
the hard drive on the computer itself, everything goes on the external. That way I can plug and play it anywhere I need to. I don't have to worry if my computer fails, I've got everything on the, you know, the external drive. And I will tell you right now, I have never in 20 years had an external hard drive like this fail. So I've got stacks of those damn things. They're, they're in that what isn't a magical drawer, but probably should be. It's a magical memory drawer, put it that way. So I have all, you know, like those, uh, what do they call them? my books, the Western Digital My Books that, that are 10, 12, 8 terabytes, that kind of shit. And I've stacked those up. I have three of those hooked up to the iMac in addition to another smaller hard drive and another drive on top of that. So there's a ton of hard drives in this place that I have different, doing different things and has different information on it. I don't want a lot of shit going to the hard drive other than stuff that is inherent that needs to be on there. So we're talking about programs so that there's no lag, it's as fast as possible and you're good to go. Plus you don't have to worry about running out of uh, USB ports and stuff like that with that kind of shit, it all goes in there. Then when I have stuff like all the, the billion pictures that I take or the videos that I shoot or shit that I download off the internet or documents or any of that kind of stuff, it all goes on one of those external hard drives. And then when I get a new computer, I take whatever's on that old solid state drive and I transfer it to a new one. So I always buy a new drive when I buy a new computer. Once they start coming out with this Thunderbolt shit where you have these little NVMe chips and all that kind of stuff that you can put into a small enclosure like this. And now I've got a one terabyte, look at that. I mean, this is a one terabyte drive. This thing's teeny. There's a problem with that though, because now it's just this, it's got some circuitry in it. And then that chip goes in there and then you just basically close it off and screw it shut. And then you've got a cable. This thing gets wicked ass hot. And that was one of the reasons I didn't like that Acasis drive. Now I knew that they said that it gets warm, but we're not talking warm. We're talking about metal hot, like touch it, ah, hot. Okay. So if I'm sitting in a freaking hotel room and I'm laying in bed and I have my MacBook Pro on my lap, you know, while I'm laying there watching something, they usually have it on a pillow, but you get the point. And then I have to have this thing connected to it and it's sitting right next to me. It's either going to burn my leg or it's probably going to catch the bed on fire. And I'm not dealing with that. So I just use this at home very sparingly and I'm sticking with the, like the bigger solid state drives. They're not that big. It's kind of a bummer that these things are so hot and I get it. You're doing a lot of shit really fast and it just gets in there and it heats those things up. I, maybe I'm being a little bit over paranoid and maybe a little bit melodramatic about how, how hot it gets, but then damn things get hot, like surprisingly hot. The first time you touch it or it hits your thigh, you're like, holy shit. So all that being said, all my little long story lead in, what do you guys use? Do you even use external drives? Do you just buy the biggest drive that you can get when you get a device. So when you buy a MacBook and you price it out, do you try to get the biggest hard drive possible so that you don't have to deal with external drives? Or do you just buy the smallest one possible because this stuff is cheaper and you can get a ton of these? I don't know. I can see the argument both ways. Since I'm an external hard drive kind of a guy, I don't have a problem with going out and buying a ton of external hard drives and just plugging them in if and when I need them. I also can see like, you know, now I don't have to have these and stick them in my bag every time I go and I'm having to plug shit in and all that kind of crap and, you know, making room for it because I just have a gigantic hard drive. The problem is, is that with, with these MacBooks, it's, it's not like anything that's not Mac where you can actually just open up the case and put new RAM in and you can put bigger hard drives and all that kind of shit in. You're stuck with Apple soldering everything in there and putting it behind shit that breaks and screws your computer up. So you either have to pay for it. Oh, sorry overpay for it up front, or you have to go with the externals. I'm just curious. I also haven't posted a video in a while, so I thought I'd do a nice long blathering video for you that uh, you can listen to my melodious voice. So let me know down in the comments what you think about external hard drives. Yay, nay, and it's a, a yay and you're using them. What are you using? Are you using an external hard drive, you know, with the moving spinning shit? Are you using a bigger SSD? Or are you using something like that Lassie that every, every creator has, the, the little tough ones with the orange thing, which I also have, which was one of the ones that I had. That was the one terabyte that's sitting in, in the magical memory drawer. Or do you use things like these little Samsung drives or uh, what is it, the SanDisk tough ones? Or do you build your own Thunderbolt ones? 
that are wicked fast and kind of more expensive. Hottest balls, but are really quick. Okay, so that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.